Now, what does renal papyr necrosis look like? Well, let me show you a picture of this. You see this right here, right in the middle. Where am I? I need you to picture the following. The pyramid, cortex, medulla. Or down the medulla, or at the tip of the medulla, it's called the papilla. The area of the kidney that is susceptible to ischemia, no doubt, is the deep structure. What may then have caused ischemia? Sickle cell disease, renal arterial stenosis, what have you. Maybe perhaps it was even urinary tract infection in a lady. We'll talk about that later. When there's renal pepper necrosis, you see this right here, a completely necrotic, dead cells. You can then imagine that you're not able to properly concentrate the loop, can you? The term seems rather benign. I so thin area, so benign, so normal. No, not in the medulla. Okay, that's one, that's one differential. What's another one? Mm, you're gonna love this one. You ever heard of a condition called multicystic or medullary cystic disease? That'll be asked on the boards. It's called what? Medullary cystic disease. Hmm, fascinating. So when we do cystic pathology of the kidneys, we'll talk about autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease. We'll talk about juvenile, AKA autosomal recessive polycystic kidney disease. And then we'll talk about medullary cystic disease. It used to be called that. It is no longer called that. So here's an update, Omar, and everyone else. The medullary cystic disease, another name for that now is called autosomal dominant tubular interstitial disease. What? Medullary cystic disease. Formerly, that, that, that was what was known formerly. Now it's called autosomal dominant tubular interstitial disease. Now picture that. Tubular interstitial disease. Where am I? Not in the cortex. You're down the medulla. Mm. So now imagine that you have a child that has autosomal dominant, right? Genetic. Uh, tubular interstitial disease. You can't really see issues in the cortex, can you? You might find cysts in the medulla. And guess what's going to happen to the urine? It can't concentrate it. What's it called? Isothenuria. All right. Here's a differential.